when we first met, it was on Zoom. We were considering you for an open residency position that we had. And remember, you were such a down-to-earth and gentle-mannered person. And I said to myself, oh, thank God, I can't take more drama this year. But before I even sent you a letter guaranteeing your spot, you had resigned from neurology residency. I even told you on the phone, honey, don't scare me like that. Never give something up until you know you have a guarantee somewhere else. But I guess you felt that you could trust me. And at that point, I 100% had to make it happen. Then when you got to this residency, it must have been noticeably better than a neurology residency because you're the only new PGY2 in our residency when our calls are so heavy to say, this is really nice. It's so easy compared to stroke call. Thank you for injecting a dose of optimism to the rest of the group. I feel like I spent most of your residency nagging you like a mom. Get your logs done, Uzo. Close your charts, Uzo. Your PTO request is late, Uzo. And even so, when I called your mom and talked to your aunt from Charlotte, you apparently only told them nice things about me. Regardless of any hardship you go through, you always saw the positive side and felt grateful for it, and you were so much sure about facing challenges. Today, I was really looking forward to hugging you at graduation and finally telling you, maybe after years of bottling in, that I'm really truly proud of you and what you've accomplished. This path wasn't always easy for you, but you stayed kind and generous and never hardened when life threw tough challenges at you, and that's what made you so special to me. I was really looking forward to hearing you during your fellowship, to follow your progress along, to check on you through the good times and the hard times. Few people understand the rigors and resilience necessary to survive a surgical retina fellowship. I was looking forward to telling you that if you ever face difficulties, I believed in your ability to stand back up and stand proud again. I was looking forward to calling you in two years to finally ask about a weird case, ask you what you think about it. You will have finally become a colleague someone I can stop teaching and who can teach me something instead. Uzo, thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your positivity and gratitude. Thank you for being a part of my life these years. I know I will miss you and think of you at every graduation. Lastly, I'm reminded of a quote from Marvel of all places. What is grief if not love persevering? Goodbye, Uzo. Rest in peace. Uzo's mother, Paula, can come up. I would like to give you Uzo's certificate. leadership and dedication to patient care separates them from others. If you read that again, doesn't that remind you of someone you know? 
with the support of program and department leadership, from this year onward, we have decided to rename this award the Dr. Davis Uzonugo Resident of the Year Award. <laughs> Uzo's legacy lives on in the heart of those he touched and the contributions that he's made to the field of ophthalmology and will continue to live in our residency. This year's inaugural recipient of this award is Dr. Vikram Pamasamy.